All right, welcome back. And right now we are focusing is 24 minutes past 8 a.m. And I on politics today, I'm privileged to have the party secretary general of Amani National Congress. That is Simon Gekuru, who is in studio to help us dissect issues. And by the way, there was no memo. My tie and his tie are more or less the same. So there's no memo. <laughs> <laughs> there was no memo. It's yeah. just telepathy. Yes. All right. Karibu sana. Thank you very much, my yes. brother. We've not met this year. Is it still safe to say Happy New Year? It's 17th. Very safe. Very, very safe. Happy New Year. Yes. And you're talking of the tie. You should also have talked of the shirt because they are more Oh, less, yeah. Uh, yes. Yes. The yeah. only thing that is now quite different is, is the, the, the suit. Yes, the suit. Of course, we I come from that side of the, of Kenya. Yes, so you know. <laughs> All right. Good morning, viewers. Good morning. Yeah, Welcome. So, you. um, <coughs> a lot is happening in 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 politics. First mm -hmm. of all, uh, voter registration starts mm -hmm. today. Yes. Another round of voter registration starts mm -hmm. today, mm -hmm. and IEB says that they target four point five million. Kenyans mm. um, from the Amani National Congress uh, as, as, as a party mm. what is your focus in terms of making sure that the strongholds and even Kenyans in general mm. are registered as voters yeah to, to start with you realize that uh, the last time we had uh, uh, mass voter registration yes uh, there were a lot of challenges in mm. terms of apathy and uh, young people especially young people not coming out so what we're doing is uh, we are using our members of parliament, mm. we're using our aspirants uh, to make sure that uh, we persuade young people. Yeah. But even of importance, we make them understand what mm. it means to be a registered voter. Yes. Because it's not just about uh, you. Mm. It's also about your constitutional duties. Mm. It's about your future. It's about the future of those who will come after you. Yeah. So of emphasis is that... Uh, the moment you don't participate, then you give room mm. for others to choose for you your leaders. Mm. And therefore then, you cede your rights such that you'll not, uh, you'll not uh, complain in future that we don't have good leadership, mm. we don't have good government, yeah. because you ceded your rights. Mm. And uh, it has been said that um, bad leaders are elected by good people mm -hmm. who fail to come out and participate yeah, exactly so we are we are making this message very clear mm. and uh, we have a roadmap we have a plan uh to make sure that through our aspirants who are very many actually yeah. through our members of parliament mm -hmm. through our mcas <coughs> we talk to our people we talk to um, young people especially where as you said our party is very strong in western yes and so we are hoping that it will be different this time mm. yes all right um a lot happened over the weekend, uh, part of last week until uh, part of the weekend. Perhaps we just listen to what your party boss said okay. yesterday when he was in Kisi region mm. yesterday. Perhaps right. you can just get that one, Director. Hmm. Amani National Congress stalwarts have been categorical that even in one Kenya alliance, the preferred presidential candidate ought to be their party leader, Msalem Davadi. Sisi tunaomba, the only formula that we shall accept in one Kenya alliance ni kama msalia atapeperusha bendera ya one Kenya alliance. His absence at the reason Oka engagement raised eyebrows, but he said he was engaged in preparation for ANC National Delegates Conference slated for 23rd January. Don't you think you're beating a dead horse here? In the sense that they had already made these declarations. So I hope that now answers the issue uh, that there was any boycott or anything. I was busy and I told my colleagues as such. Without hinting at his next move, Mdavadi stated that his announcement at the NDC is bound to upset the political landscape. Tafute namna haraka muende kwa ururuninga kwa sababu siku hiyo tutakuwa na musisumuko wa ardhi Speaking in Yamira, Mdavadi, however, dismissed claims of joining anyone ahead of the forthcoming general election. Sitaki kutoa si resorte sahi. Kasababu ntakoni metoa utamu na lava kwa siku hiyo. Na tutakuwa na mambo ambayo uamuzi wetu. Kama ANC kulingana na siyasa yetu, na siyasa ya kitaifa, tutakuwa tukizumuza pale. Leaders accompanying him led by Nairobi Senator Johnson Sakaja say the country will benefit more from his presidency. 
PC wamezindua program ya mwisho ya kujisajili kama wapigaji kura. Tafadhali chukueni kura. Kwa sababu kura yenu ndio tabadilisha maisha yenu. Sio kelele, sio kwenda kwa Maralis na huna kura kwa mfuko. So tafadhali sa ile mass registration drive inaanza na inaanza wiki ambayo inakuja. Tafadhali muende mujisajili ili tuende. Okay, so you've heard what that is Senator Sakaja and ANC party leader Muslim Davidi have said. But before we get into the gist of the story, let's just take a very quick break and we'll be right back with more. Welcome back. So let's just pick it from where we left, uh, from that clip where mm. Musalem <coughs> Davani, the ANC party leader, said that on 23rd, mm. that's mm. coming Sunday, Indeed. we expect mm. some pronouncement that will shake the political landscape. Mm. What is that pronouncement? <laughs> yeah, very interesting. You see, uh, for the longest, mm. people have uh, been speculating and wanting to uh, um, twist my party leader. Mm -hmm or even our party structures to move uh, either this way or that way in the political divide. There has also been this uh, nonsensical talk that uh, there is, these are two horse race. But we want to make it very clear. There's nothing like that. There's nothing like a two horse race. This is a democracy. This is a, a popular democracy for that matter. And uh, people should expect that uh, there will be more than the two and probably even four or five mm. so when 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 the 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 people in the media you, you and others want to drive a certain and i don't want to accuse kbc for that i think you've you've been very moderate you've been quite balanced thank you but we've seen certain media houses working for certain presidential candidates and trying to uh, make it look like a two horse race mm. so come 23rd when you're going to have our ndc my party leader has said it Personally, I have said it earlier and before I have said, we are going to make very, very serious, shaking pronunciations. And of course, you don't expect me to say them here on national TV. Perhaps you can give, give because, us a hint. Because, because it, the, the reason why I'm asking you can give us a hint mm -hmm. is that your party leader has been quite, you know, reserved in terms of making this pronouncement. And mm -hmm. because even in the newspapers, there is that case of mistrust mm -hmm. amongst the the one kenya alliance principles mm. perhaps i can say that they are all of them are you know eyeing for that particular seat mm. and no one is ready mm -hmm. to settle for anything less than mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. so what is this pronouncement that you should expect from your boss uh, i can tell you the following one let people know mm -hmm. they cannot choose friends for us and your friend is not necessary my friend i cannot connect with what you and said. your enemies are not necessarily our enemies and this has to be very clear so our message is my party leader and my party structures mm. will work with anybody and everybody who has a vision to make kenya better because musale mudavadi mm -hmm. is of the view that we need to reconstruct our economy we need to resuscitate our economy. Yes. We need to rebuild a uh, government trust from the people. We need to make people feel that government cares for them. If there is anybody in this republic who shares in those views and dreams, it doesn't matter whether it's your friend or, or your enemy. For yes. us, if they share in our dreams, we will work with them. That statement sounds familiar to me. How so? Because a few weeks ago, Honorable Cleophilus Malala, Senator of Kakamega, said the same statement. Was it last week but one when he was in uh, Wasingishu? He said the same statement. And he said that he was in Wasingishu uh, under the blessings of, of, of his party leader. A day later, uh, Honorable Salem Davidi also said that, you know, we, you, we, we are free to have friends. Yesterday, but one, he also said after the end, uh, after the meeting in Naivasha, of which you'll tell us, the, you know, the details. He said that he's left his door open. So, who are the friends you are, you are you are talking about? You see, I think now we are getting so much into it. Exactly. I told you that uh, 
everybody in Kenya should wait for us on 23rd. Mm -hmm. um, our NDC uh, preparations are coming out very well. Mm -hmm. uh, I actually chair the, I co-chair the NDC committee yes. with, with Senator Petro Nirawere. Mm -hmm. We have invited friends. We expect a huge number of delegates. Mm -hmm. And uh, for us, that will be a defining moment for the political landscape in Kenya. Mm. And in particular to debunk this nonsensical talk of a two horse race mm -hmm. because it's obviously a creation of the media and 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 we want to tell people in the political market mm -hmm. that for those who have been um, sitting there and thinking that uh, my party and my party leader are just there to be um, twisted this way or that way are just there to be told what to do mm -hmm. kindly forget mm -hmm. musale mudavad is a presidential material mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay mm -hmm. and so uh, he's conducted himself in a presidential manner. He does his things in a, in a presidential manner. And, and, and uh, we are very committed to make sure he becomes the next president of Kenya. And 23rd of this month will be the most defining uh, uh, moment in the history of our politics at this moment. Is he planning to work with the UDA? Well, um, I cannot say yes, I cannot say no. I have just told you that... Uh, we are, and I'm going to quote my party leader, mm. we are ready and willing to welcome anybody and everybody who shares in the dreams of making sure that we have a working economy, mm. we have a government that people can trust, we have uh, opportunities for our young people, mm -hmm. young people are paid uh, properly because we don't want to see young people being underpaid and employed yes. and being, and being uh, you know, um, misused mm -hmm. uh, are not getting uh, uh, you know uh, proper pay for their sweat yes so we want to make sure that um, we bring back the dignity of our young people mm -hmm. the dignity of the kenyan people mm -hmm. part of the biggest failure and the biggest one of the biggest laws for this government the jubilee mm -hmm. government has been to abandon young people mm -hmm. and uh, we've said it over and over people feel it deep down in their bones when they have a government that doesn't care about them mm -hmm. and i think this one government really does not that does not care about young people we cannot have our young people who work and a simple issue of regulation for example mm. because you don't even need to put in money to regulate minimum wage yeah we have chinese contractors in this, in this country who come here and they want to pay our young people the way they want mm -hmm. exploiting them and we are saying it's just a matter of regulation it's a, a matter of implementation of the law mm. all these huge highways you see here in skyscrapers are built by the sweat and blood of our young people mm -hmm. and what do they have to show for it when the chinese contractor will ship billions abroad what is he leaving for onyango mm. <coughs> or kamau or wekesa mm. who has been working in that construction site who has been doing, uh, you know, operating that, uh, that, that machine. Mm. Nothing to show. Yeah. So we are saying we just need to make sure that we dignify young people. Even, even local empl employers, for example, say um, uh, contractors locally or even businessmen, do we even care how they pay our young people? These young people are operating cameras and operating the machines. Do we even care? Mm -hmm. And it's not. And why would someone make so much as a businessman? Yeah. And, and, and not have some care, some, some slice of the profit for the worker. And that's what ANC stands to change. That is what we want to make sure changes. Okay. Where are our young people flocking and flying to Dubai, yeah. to, to Qatar, and to work as house helps? Mm -hmm. Were you in Naivasha last week, over the weekend, for the One Kenya Alliance meeting? Are you asking about me as Secretary General yes. or, or as the yes. party? Personally, I was not there. Mm -hmm. Yes, my party leader was not there. Mm -hmm yes and uh, he was expected there he was expected there including you but uh, we had sent representatives mm -hmm. very very good representatives mm -hmm. the chairman of the one kenya technical committee sami sami karanja mm -hmm. a very very respected legal mind yes is seconded to that committee from anc and he was there chairing the committee mm -hmm. Party leader was represented by Godfrey Canotti, mm -hmm. who is a political affairs advisor to the party leader. Mm -hmm. So the party was represented. The party was represented, but then the presence of the party leader mm -hmm. sends 
a very clear message. Mm. So when when you talk of a representation, who you are telling me right now, I mm. didn't know that the mm. ANC was representing that meeting. Mm. People are reading something in between the lines, and from that story. Uh, your your boss says the NC party leader says that is like uh, beating a dead horse, and people have made you know have drawn their lines. Mm -hmm. Everybody's eyeing for that particular seat. Mm -hmm. Are we able to? Are we right to say that uh, he was not there deliberately because everybody has now taken sides, including him? Well, um, those are your words. Those are not my words. But um, I have said it over and over. I'm not the spokesperson for One Kenya Alliance. Mm -hmm. uh, my space is within the ANC party. Yes. I am the spokesperson of the ANC party. And I can tell you, as a party, it's not Mwishimu Mosalem Davadi's individual decision to decide whether he's running or, or whether he's supporting another person. Our position is, in reference to Walker, when you look at all the matrix, mm -hmm. When you look at the numerical uh, calculations, when you look at the capacity to raise resources for a campaign, I can tell you, Inoka, the only person who beats all of them is Mosala Mudavadi. And so we are saying, if Oka is to survive, the only way Oka can survive is to make sure that the flag bearer is Mosala Mudavadi. And I have told you the reasons, numerical calculations, mm -hmm. capacity to raise resources, acceptability across the nation, none of those principles. Of course, they have very impressive uh, CVs. All of them, you cannot ignore them. They have very impressive CVs. But none of their CVs beat the CV for my party leader. Mm -hmm. So if Oka is to go anywhere, the only way is to make sure that my party leader, Moshimu Musalem Mudavadi, is the flag bearer for Oka. Can we say that Honorable Musalem Mudavadi is playing hard to get? Well, you know now, those are the kind of, that's an interesting uh, statement because, uh, you know, we used to use such kind of statements when we were in the university trying to chase after <laughs> young girls, really. This is a serious political contest. But polit politicians <laughs> have also, you know, uh, say uh, that politics is like luring a young girl. You chase after her and make all the moves. I'm not sure about that. We are discussing about very serious things here. Yes. We are discuss discussing about the future of our nation. We are discussing about the future of my son and your son and my daughter mm -hmm. and so we cannot uh, uh, of course you can dramatize it but uh, I, I can tell you that uh, if Oka is to go anywhere mm -hmm. they don't have any other choice except making sure the flag bearer is Moshimo Musalem Mudavadi and as a party we have told them as much mm -hmm. of course we are negotiating but it reaches a point when now you have to come out and just tell your friends hey look here let us not waste our time and that's the feeling within the party Yes, that's the feeling within the party. And the, the case of mistrust, perhaps when you sit at that board meeting, what really runs in the head of Honorable Musalem Davadi? Again, that's quite uh, a very hard question for me to answer because yeah. obviously I wouldn't know, but I can tell you that from our discussion uh, as a party, we feel that uh, Oka has potential and uh, our party is very, has been very committed mm to make sure that Oka becomes an alliance that can form the next government. Mm -hmm. And while I can speak for my party leader and say he has been very committed to make sure that Oka becomes something better, Oka becomes something bigger, Oka becomes an alliance to form government. I cannot speak for the rest, mm -hmm. but I can assure you, my leader is a kind of a person who means what he talks who walks the talks yeah. and will never ever have any hidden cards. As for the others, I don't know. What is the bone of contention? Because we've been waiting for them to name the flag bearer and the order of hierarchy since sometimes last year and it's been pushed again to, uh, to a later date and he's also said that come 23rd we should expect you know a major pronouncement. What's the bone of contention amongst the Oka uh, principles? You see coalition building and negotiations for a, an, a political alliance mm. is, is not a walk into the park. It's not. You can be sure that uh, it's tougher than the dowry negotiations. Uh, you have to look at so many things. Mm. But what we are telling our partners in Oka is that uh, <laughs> if you want a candidate acceptable across the board, yeah. if you want a candidate uh, whose track record is so impressive to earn us 
a winning majority in terms of votes. If you want a candidate who has capacity to fundraise in terms of resources for the campaign, mm -hmm. it's Musala Mudavad within Oka. And we have told them, if you want Oka to survive, we can discuss about these other things in terms of hierarchy, who gets what and all that, yeah. who gets what portion in government and all that. But for, for, the, for the Oka ticket to come out and, as a force, uh, and probably that is even why the media has been having the chance to ridicule and say it's a two-horse race. For the Oka ticket to make any political meaning, the option that is there is to give that ticket mm -hmm. to Moshumbu Sayyamu Davadi. Yes. No other option. And that's the stand for our party. And that's the feeling within our party. Mm. And we have to look them into the eyes and tell them, hey, let's not waste each other's time. People have been making fun of us that we just go to hotels, we sit, take tea and mandazi and all that. Obviously, that is not the case. Yeah. But it can be the feeling among the people. Because also people get tired when you keep people so long. People, people burn out. Energy, you know. Because that is quite dangerous. When, you know, you know th perhaps that is the reason why mm. politicians have now drawn that line and say it's not a two-horse race. We are just months away to election and counting. And you can imagine the excitement amongst Kenyans whenever you travel across the country. We have got Honor Brail Odinga, mm. who's hit the ground running. We have mm. got Deputy President William Ruto, who is crisscrossing the country. We are not seeing that from One Kenya Alliance. And they're saying that's now a two-horse race. How will you convince the voters that it's a two-horse race, yet other players in the presidential election are not actively involved in, in mobilization, in the campaigns, as we see amongst other, you know, in other candidates? The first thing you should know is that uh, we are very, very disciplined people. And we are following the IEBC calendar. But uh, an IEBC has not yet announced campaign, uh, uh, opened up uh, the campaign period. As we speak right now, what is on the IEBC calendar is mass voter registration. And again, if you look at uh, the, the two camps that yes. you just mentioned, yes. what do you see? Perhaps the, the, you just the did the hand of government. You just did the hand of government. These are, these are people who are both in government. Azimio. An allegation. Azimio is being funded from Harambe House, and we know that. Okay, well, we, we cannot. We DP, cannot DP is holding that, meetings yeah. at Karen, which is a government installation, so he's enjoying government resources. He, Perhaps that is. Whenever you go to Karen, you yes. are served tea, you are served Mandazi and Kaimati, which is from uh, government coffers. What stops ANC from holding the same? First and foremost, as much as we have our resources for campaigns, we don't have as much resources. We are not enjoying incumbency. And again, even if we were, we are very disciplined people. Moshimo Musala Mudavad would never do anything like that. The moment we make him president, he will observe the law, he will observe IBC timelines, because he is a strickler when it comes to discipline and the rule of law. So, what we are saying is, all those people who are running up and down, they are running up and down because they are both using government resources which you don't have the benefit of accessing. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 and so you cannot compare us to them, surely. You cannot do that. And historically, in the history of democracy, you, we've never seen a regime that will perpetuate itself into the next regime. So what, whatever they're trying to do is bound to fail by all means. Bound and to fail. And especially for Azimio, because Azimio is a project. Azimio is a project, and we know Kenyans don't like projects. And... and, and, and and President Uhuru Kenyatta, and you know, I have a lot of respect for President Uhuru Kenyatta. I have a lot of admiration for him. Mm -hmm. But as a young man, I feel extremely let down. How do you want to force Kenyans in terms of their democratic space? You've done your 10 years. You've done your achievements. Obviously, there are spaces whereby you didn't do as much because you can never get it right throughout. But hey, don't tell Kenyans what to do. Don't get into their space. Don't choose leaders for Kenyans. Let me, let me you, you've, you've asked, you've <coughs> made a very interesting statement. So, mm. what if President Kenyatta said that it's Musalem Davadi? Would you have said the same statement? <coughs> it's not for him to choose. It's for Kenyans to choose. Democratically, he's also, you know, allowed to make his preferred choice. He has one vote. Exactly. And which uh, if I were him, I would do what President Kibaki did. Sit back. Let the ground uh, play fairly. Don't interfere. So the question is, mm. if he picked Honorable Musalem Budavadi, would you have said the same statement as the and SG? Well, I mean, uh, he, if he would choose him as an individual, that's fine. 
But you see, if he came on a platform and said, I want so and so, it wouldn't even probably work for us. You have an NDC coming up on 23rd. You are correct. What should you expect from that NDC? Um, uh, as I told you, we are going to make very, very serious pronunciations. Right. Pronunciations that will shift the political matrix. Pronunciations that will change the whole narrative. Yes. We, are, we want to debunk this nonsense of a two-horse race. Mm -hmm. So let us wait for 23rd. So, Honorable Musalem Mudavadi is in the ballot. Oh, of course, yes, by all means. Oh. Probable, probable running mate? Are we expecting that? Let us wait for 23rd. Come on. SG. You see, if, if, <laughs> if I told you yes. on national TV what to expect, I'm going to spoil the whole test. We want to, people to be eager. I want you to focus and send all your cameras there and wait for us. I want you to focus on party leader that day and you hear nothing else. It's and a, still he gives the pronunciation. It's a special NDC or we are having delegates from across the country? Well, uh, legally it's a, it, it's a special NDC, but still, special or not, you have to get delegates from across the nation. Yes. From all the 47 counties. counties. <laughs> yeah. So are we expecting Musalem Devadi to, uh, to declare his candidacy on that day? Well, okay, what will happen? Just maybe if I can uh, uh, say this. Yes. The Amani Council, which is one of the highest organs of the party, mm -hmm. has already endorsed him to run. Mm -hmm. So what the NDC is going to do is to ratify that decision mm -hmm. by the Amani Council, mm -hmm. uh, to ratify the decision of the Amani Council that His Excellency Musalem Mudavadi is going to be the candidate, the yes. presidential candidate for the party. Yes. But also, it's important that Kenyans also note, at the same time, the yeah. Amani Council has mandated him mm to enter into negotiations with other parties with other like-minded party for yes. a coalition building mm -hmm. so again the money the ndc will ratify that decision mm -hmm. on sunday mm -hmm. but of course now there will be the moving the shaking pronunciation that i cannot tell you here. we we are, we are really waiting to hear and i promise to invite you next time so that you can give us the gist of what's what's what happened there I'll, I'll who are some glad to come exactly what are, who are some of the notable figures politically who have mm. been invited to that ndc no no no. an ndc is a strictly legal meeting so we have our delegates legal delegates paid up and registered whose register is already deposited with the uh, orpp mm -hmm. but of course uh, we have invited guests We've invited our friends in Oka. We've invited other guests. So let us wait and see, you know. From Oka <laughs> only. <laughs> well, we've invited friends across the nation and actually even outside Kenya. We've invited uh, friends from mm. within and outside Kenya. Include the deputy president? Ah, come on. Uh, that one I cannot say yes or no. I mean, uh, I have not seen an invitation for the deputy president. Okay. Yes. So... <clears throat> We are having countdown to an election, and mm. moving forward, it's going to be tougher mm. and more aggressive. Indeed. What should we expect from uh, Amani National Congress as a party? Uh, you should expect to see a very, very aggressive approach in terms of uh, our campaign. Mm. We are fielding candidates across the nation. Yes. We are fielding candidates for gubernatorial uh, positions in the 47 counties, mm -hmm. same for senatorial, same for women rep. Mm. Uh, and of course for the members of parliament yeah. and MCAs. Mm. So people should expect to see a, a very serious movement, mm. a more aggressive ANC, a more, uh, you know, a more active ANC. People should expect to see a whole new excited party. Yeah. Yes. And there is this issue of uh, of nominations. Mm. How are you going to handle it? Because we have got um, consensus, we have got uh, hand picking mm. and what have you. How 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 are you going to handle nominations because it's one mm. one of the most uh, crazy moments in a political of cycle. Course, of yes, course, of course. You see when it comes to nominations, our 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 constitution as you've mentioned mm. gives us several options. Yes. We can do direct nominations. Mm -hmm. We can do consensus, right. we can do hand-picking, hand mm -hmm. we can do com uh, competitive secret ballot. Mm. So I think what's important for uh, our aspirants mm -hmm. is to note that uh, we will make sure our nominations are free and fair. Mm -hmm. That's the most important for them. And of course, we are going to use all those methods as stipulated in our constitution. Yeah. But the most critical thing is to tell people and our aspirants and our supporters our nominations will be free and fair. And by the way, 
it's not a must that uh, nominations must be competitive, mm. secret ballot. No, 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 no. We want to have an approach that will make our candidates and aspirants feel uh, they have not used as much energy for, for the nominations because we want them to have enough energy, enough mm. synergy for the main IBC election. Yeah. So we'll try and make sure that we make it as comfortable for them as possible, mm. but free and fair. Okay. And finally, Bona SG, do you, as ANC, do you support pre- or post-election pacts, coalition pacts? Of course we do. We are expecting that uh, by the time we are getting into August, yeah. the law, as it stands, uh, talks of three months, we'll have deposited some something with the ORPP. Mm -hmm. We also open maybe after mm -hmm. that is post, we could also get into something. Mm. And again, uh, I may not discuss much because you also hear something about that yeah. when it comes to uh, the pronunciations I told you about mm -hmm. on 23rd. I hope it will be an earth moving pronouncement as you correctly it should, put it. It should be. It will. It indeed. will. Yes. All right. Thank you so much. We've been speaking to the Secretary General of Amani National Congress, uh, that is Simon Gekuru. On 23rd, they'll have the ANDC, the NDC that's mm. coming Sunday. Coming Sunday. Yes. Coming a Sunday. And the Bombers of Kenya. Bombers of Kenya. Mm. You have to get it right. So if you are a delegate, you'll be invited. The venue is Bombers of Kenya. And later on, just promise me on national television that you'll be back here. Of course. I mean, uh, anytime you call us, we'll come. We, we love you. to use your platform to talk to Kenyans. Yes. So be sure we'll come. Please send greetings to your party leader. Indeed. Mwambio, Mr. Mwami, that we are watching. Uh, Sante, Sante. Thank All you right. for having me. Okay, so we're taking a break and we'll come back. We, uh, it's not done yet. A lot is coming more after this break.